I used to say without doubt that the Palin family, that whole group of them, track, trig, truck, Terrapin Station, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I don't know what the names of the other kids were, um, that, they, that they had to be the trashiest family in this country. This is even before, by the way, Sarah Palin, um, a couple of years ago, you know, she's running for Congress now for the open seat in Alaska and please support our opponent, Mary Peltola, native uh, Alaskan, who's been a state legislator, brilliant. Um, we'll get to that. But I used to think that Sarah Palin, like they had to be the trashiest family. And again, that was before Todd, her husband, remember her staunchest supporter back when she ran for VP, left her a couple of years ago, got divorced from her because he claimed she was verbally and actually physically abusing him. And that shocks absolutely nobody. In fact, that probably ticked her up a couple points in the Republican primary. But one of her sons was constantly arrested. The family went to some a party I don't think they're invited to and got in a brawl. The daughter claimed, you know, abstinence, abstinence, and then just kept having one baby after another. Like just this trashy, scummy, do anything for money, reality TV family. I mean, obviously the Trumps did a pretty good job of, of, of living up to that. And then we have the Boberts too. And I'm so effing tired of talking about Lauren Boebert, right? But Lauren Boebert, who, you know, when she wasn't doing anything except for being broke, was one of these explore talent types that, you know, wanted to become theoretically actresses or models and had pictures of herself up on the Explore Talent site, pretty much not leaving much to the imagination. Her husband was arrested for showing his penis to younger women in a bowling alley. No, I'd like that to be a lie. I'd also like it to be a lie that she married him after that. Also not a lie. Posed in front of the Christmas tree with assault rifles, um, tweeted out where Mary, uh, Nancy Pelosi was. And I still want to know the answer to that on um, January 6th. And if that was part of her trying to get Nancy Pelosi killed, that's not really trashy as much as it's criminal uh, if we find out that's what happened. But, you know, she got in a car accident, and I still don't know why. This isn't being investigated, my God, in Utah, off-roading a few weeks before her election, and literally ditched her son and their dog and her sister-in-law, who apparently was in distress, hurt from this crash, in the car before the police arrived. And of course, later on, I've done a video about this one too. Later on, uh, begged the sister-in-law not to tell the police anything. It's an ex-sister-in-law now. I'm sure that will shock you. Somehow sister-in-laws don't tend to hang around when you crash a car and they have to go to the hospital and all you care about is your political career. We can go on on her stupid shooter's grill or ready to carry a weapon. That place closed down because, of course, she can't afford anything. She's been arrested a couple of times serving underage kids or trying to protect them from the cops. She slapped a few cops. I mean, you know, her, her she's... She's garbage. She's absolute. She, what when you refer to white trash, she's absolute trash. Her family is absolute trash. She she couldn't even get a GED. They are idiots. They are ignorant. They don't care about policy. Everything is performance. Everything is entertainment. They're corrupt and frankly perverted. Um, and now we get the least example where the neighbors had to call the police. Sound familiar? We should start trusting neighbors more. Rand Paul's neighbor punched him. We should have guessed there was probably a pretty good reason for that. Um, and I don't advocate violence, but I do understand, as Chris Rock would say, because Rand Paul is a seditionist, liar, Putinite, scumbag. Okay, now back to Lauren Boebert. So again, don't want to talk about her, but I want to make sure I do get this right. Uh, one second. So listen to Rattled, rattled Neighbors Report after wild clash with Lauren Boebert's husband. God, her husband is a real piece of, let's call it work. There's actually a dispatch recording out there. I don't know if we'll fit that in here, but you should certainly listen to it. Um, it occurred earlier this month, involved property damage and threats from Jason Boebert, who's known to pack firearms, <laughs> neighbors say. That always is nice. A woman not identified by the Denver Post told the Garfield County Sheriff's Office on August 4th that one of the Boebert's four sons had been speeding in a go-kart on this residential block at over 50 miles per hour. If you have kids, you probably wouldn't like that. So they told the kid to stop. Um, he's a Boebert. He probably was carrying an assault rifle and starting coke or I'm not making that up. But um, so he didn't care. Um, and after that, the husband crashed his car going 50 miles per hour. Um, nope, sorry, that was the kid. Um, the, uh, the, the, the second neighbor yelled at him, apparently, and told him to stop doing it. Um, and so what, what Jason Bober did is he crashed his car onto their property, into their mailbox, knocked it over, and he threatened them. Right? He said uh, he just got chest-to-chest -chest them 
in their faces looking for a fight because they asked her son, their son, to stop speeding his stupid go-kart at 50 miles per hour and putting little kids in the, in the neighborhood in danger of being run over by the obviously very, very mature um, Bobert family. And being that the record of the Boberts, if you look at it, is what's her name, is Lauren crashing while off-roading and ditching her family, they're not the people you necessarily want driving cars quickly in your area. So um, here's, the, here's what she said. When the dispatcher asked if anyone's armed, the second neighbor responded, I'm sure he's loaded to the hilt. She's talking about Jason Bobert. Do you know who his wife is? Lauren Bobert. She's loaded. They all have guns. Of course he owns guns. You know, we do look at that ridiculous Manson family Christmas picture and know that that whole family has guns. So he has guns. He crashed into their property, he threatened them. And again, like this is just one thing after another. And we can go through the litany of Republicans who've had these kinds of issues. Debbie Lesko, who was on the, uh, with her husband on a crime bender for years, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, who stalked David Hogg and has done all sorts of, uh, of those kinds of activities. And Matt Gates is being investigated and Jim Jordan for ignoring rape at Ohio State. I mean, it's, I've said many times where the Republican Party is now flypaper for literally the worst, scummiest, trashiest among us. But I will still say the Bobert family at this point, now Sarah Palin's running and some more could come out about her. It's a, it's a stiff competition. We may actually have to set up brackets. Would you guys like that? Maybe we'll set up brackets of who the trashiest Republican family is. The Trumps, the Palins, and the Boberts definitely start off as a top three. Marge is trash too, but I don't know about the rest of her family. I haven't heard much. I don't even know if there is a family. She's busy off getting tantric with the uh, with the gym owner. Um, incredible. Incredible at Lauren Boberts and Connors. And you know what? She's in a district that's changed in Colorado. She's only plus one or two or three Republican. We can beat her. So look into her opponent, whose name is escaping me, but please do support her opponent. Let's get her out of Congress. Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Please uh, turn on your notifications and uh, talk to you soon.